If you go to Stearns, Kentucky, McCreary County, let's assume that you're a viewer and you're watching me on your phone. Or, you know, uh, yeah, you're, you know, you're traveling, my tongue's sore, so please bear with me. And you're traveling in a car, and you're close to Stearns, Kentucky, McCreary County, Kentucky. If you go in Stearns, if I'm accurate about this, the, 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 the road forks. I don't know which part, north end of Stearns or south, I'm not sure, or east or west, but uh, the road forks, I believe, to the left and the right. And I think before that, uh, that's where my great grandma Shepherd lived. If you go there, you'll see a house all boarded up. I think it's the only house boarded up there. It's an old coast, an old coal mining section. But uh, I think it's light blue. But that's where my great grandma Shepherd lived. Rumor, or I, I can't verify this, but I think this is true. Maybe back in the 40s, maybe the 30s, maybe even the 20s. A girl was hit by, apparently a girl was hit by a car. She had blue eyes. I don't know if anybody was holding her in her, in her arms or what, but she was crying. Of course, when you're hit and when you're injured like that, you're in pain and you're probably scared to death knowing you're gonna die. And apparently, her crying after being hit in the rain inspired the country singer, Willie Nelson, to record the song, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain. If I'm telling that story right, that's what inspired him. So when you hear that song, a girl died or crying, she was crying in front of my grandma's house on the road, if I heard that story right. I'm hoping a family member will uh, inbox me, message me, and let me know how accurate I am. Now, if, if I am updated, I'll update this, I'll update the video. But I'm pretty sure that's how the story goes. And my great-grandma Shepherd, Shepherd's Ointment. I don't don't know if she had a registered trademark on it or not, but the story goes years ago, an Indian was sick or injured. I think it was an Indian. And she treated him. I forget what was wrong with him, element. And for a gift, for, for a payment or thank you, the Indian gave her a recipe. Uh, and it's, I've used it before. It's excellent if you got a bad chest cold, you rub it on your chest and wrap up real good because if you don't, you'll get pneumonia. You're going to be in a worst case scenario being sick, bad chest cold, and he'll clear you up overnight. Strong mustard oil in it. The best, I, I've never uh, even used a store bought that good. But my, but the, the, the family is top secret. Only a couple people in our entire family knows the recipe. Uh, I, 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 being a secret like that doesn't mean it's a trademark. I don't know. But uh, Shepherd's Ointment. She used to charge a few dollars a bottle. But my, uh, we still, my mom and dad, my sister still got some. I think it's 30 years old, the jar. It's still good. But we always called it Shepherd's Ointment. And she sold it in her store. My dad always said, my great grandma, his grandma, was high on her prices because of being a small merchant. Well, you know, great grandpa and grandma, they didn't have the wholesale power. Probably uh, bought wholesale, probably never touched the below wholesale because they just didn't have storage. You know, when you're a kid, everything's bigger. But I remember the house before, the store part before. They tore down, her house still there, but they tore the old store down. And the store was just small, they didn't have enough storage. But Dad always said that your grandma was high, your great grandma was high on prices. But I was just a kid when she ran that. You know, I, I wasn't old enough to go in there by myself. But uh, apparently she had a pretty good business head. She's pretty smart. I know she was wise, very wise, my great grandma, and we all miss her. But in the blink of the eye, we know where she's going. I was wanting to do a little update. I made a video about my uncle Leland and his wife Aunt Pearl. And my cousin, first cousin Ron, uh, sent me a message on YouTube. He says, told me don't forget he's right I forgot about it when we used to go down there from here to McCurry County Kentucky my Aunt Pearl 
would put the who come their names relatives in their local newspaper down there. Yeah, every time somebody come and visit her, oh, Aunt Pearl, she would put her names in the newspaper. And uh, so everybody gets the newspaper every Thursday, could uh, see which relatives were way to communicate. I remember that, I was back in the uh, mid, late 70s, 80s, you know. Uh, everybody had a phone, but they didn't have this technology like we got today. So the only way to communicate was by the newspaper, well, phone, but by the newspaper. Uh, that's how everybody knew in the county how uh, somebody come to visit them. Yeah, I remember my name being there. I don't know how I forgot that. But uh, oh, Aunt Pearl, she loved doing that. We go visit her next Thursday. The entire family's name was in her. It would say something to the effect uh, Helen, Woody, and Greg visited Aunt Pearl and Uncle Leland over the weekend. Just a little small clipping in the paper. Probably cost her a dollar. She always did that. Whoever come and visit her, Aunt Pearl would put, it, put them in the paper. And the little ego, which is good. Uh, I'm sure she enjoyed it. Maybe ego is the wrong word to use. I apologize there. But uh, I tell you, that tongue ain't, ain't really no better. So uh, don't worry. More videos coming.